Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam. I'm Insetic, and with me today is Blank Tester. Hey, how's it going? Vin Metal. What's up? And Vanderpants. How's it going? Oh man, we got a great block of people, or well, I should say, a great duo. Yeah. Because we didn't tell yeah, them, yeah, but we're yeah. about to, we're about to, you know, change things up. Change things oh, up. Oh jeez. We've, we've had Insetic without Insetic, but I think today Pussy we're gonna power. have Insetic. Well, without Insetic and Blank Tester, because it is the Vin and Van Show. See you guys later. All right, great. Welcome All to right. uh, SS SSX Clone or S yeah SSX right. Clone Tony Hawk. And you got me, the the only fan of, in the entire I, world of this game. Yeah. I love um, it so I've much. Never, I've never played this in my <laughs> oh, life. Oh, this guy, guys, we're jumping back. Guys, guys I gotta combo. say. The pilot for the Vin and Van show is not looking so good. It's been I'm canceled. just gonna be honest. It's been canceled. <laughs> All right. Get canceled. canceled by the networks in 27 seconds. Oh wait, wait, That's wait. Actually, I'm record. hearing we got picked back up by Netflix. So we'll <laughs> oh, oh now it's gonna be super good and well written. Oh, yeah. Shit. All right. Your expectations. Yeah, the Vinner so, and Vanner show. Yeah. So this game really does just strike me as SSX Tony Hawk, like the one that came out on the 360 about five years ago. What? The... The, the, uh, the new S SSX? Yeah, the well. newest SSX. SSX. Oh man, okay, that wasn't yeah. five years ago, but it was four. Oh, yeah, man, it was a real long like time ago, man. Yeah, it was just I on mean, PS Plus, too. I was playing that. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, I guess I can kind of see that, but, I mean, there's some... There are some differences. Yeah, I, mean, I don't you know. see that at all, man. It's but. still pretty similar to Downhill Domination, too, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah Downhill really Domination is the comparison that I think I get more. It would it'd be sick if this game had, like, the uh, weird, errored out, dummied out zones that that uh, Trans World Downhill, like, snowboarding game oh, had. Oh, yeah. Or, yeah like, you, you, like, you could just go out of bounds and yeah. just go wherever you wanted. And there's Crazy just, stuff. like, more uh, more stuff to trick on. Although, I guess this is more based in racing. Yeah. yeah. So, have either of you guys played this game? I played no. the shit out of it, actually. It was oh, okay. the Wii version, though, not the PS2. Did the I Wii played... version run, run smoothly? It ran surprisingly well. I mean, it's not... It wasn't, like, some masterpiece, but... It loaded at a reasonable clip. Like, uh, mm. This was the first video you guys left the loading in. That that shocked me. Yeah. Oh yeah, that about a third of the yeah, time. We left Locked. the loading in. We left the freezing in. <laughs> Great. <laughs> was Schmuck any good in that game? Two one six. Oh, he was the best. Yeah, yeah. I kind of yeah. figured. Yeah, because he could be you, man. You're like three feet tall. This guy's three bro. feet tall. Yeah, I'm actually two seven. Don't. <laughs> oh, nice. 4 6. Stomping yeah. on you, bitch ass. Wow. Tony Hawk, look out! Oh, oh my god, oh, shit! Like that? Fucking like asshole. Wii, Wii graphics, I did think. that happen? Did that happen in the Wii version? It, perfectly, exactly the same way. I wouldn't yeah. change a thing. I, I, I <laughs> want to know how the, the motion controls were with this game. Uh, yeah. They were surprisingly alright, because, I mean, even something like balancing while you're grinding, it was it was completely natural. And it's super huh. easy, like, I'm sure you'd agree with that and said it, that just balancing in this game is it's not even a challenge at all. Yeah, yeah. Cause balancing I think... was always easy in Tony Hawk, though. But well, in this, it, it's like, it, it was compensating for the motion controls. It's like, oh, you, have yeah. to, you have to basically... I mean, I don't, I don't know if you remember, uh, the, there's, uh, in Tony Hawk 4, you had to grind a wire that was, like, straight downhill from, like, a crane peak. And you had to grind for, like, 5,000 feet. And you would, uh, but when you were going fast, your, uh, grind balance would definitely fuck up. A lot yeah. worse than grinding in a flat surface. I mean, with with a Wii game where you've got a like like it, if it was using the Wii Motion Plus or whatever that thing was called, then maybe they could have done something a little bit more precise. But the the original Wii Wii modes uh, balance like their uh, what am I trying to say? It it just wasn't it wasn't that advanced and. Uh, because it wasn't that advanced, they, they couldn't really do anything too difficult. 
Uh, so it's, you know, the ease of grinding in this game, like you said, is, is compensating for imprecise motion. Controls. Yeah. It's still... And then when they port it to the PS2, you know, it's a port, it's not a rebuild. Mm. Which um, is kind of unfortunate. I'm su I'm surprised if the you know, if the Wii version seemed to pull off motion controls just fine because another well we were talking about the SSX series earlier. There's a Wii only SSX game, SSX Blur, and from I've what it looks like and what it that. sounds like, there was quite a bit of trouble adapting that to motion controls. Hmm. Well, I don't remember much fanfare for Tony Hawk's Ride either. You know. Yeah. Yeah, because I haven't played either of those. Really. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I mean, usually when something really, really like does a really good job with motion controls, people mention it, people talk about it. Yeah. Especially since there's plenty of games you can think of that don't do motion controls well at all. And you know, the, the Tony Hawk's Ride never comes up when you're talking about motion controls. Good motion. Controls. I don't think Tony Hawk Ride comes up. Period. Generally. Yeah. It's, I mean, if, yeah. if this is the dark horse of the Tony Hawk series, Tony Hawk Ride might be the darker horse. I, it's Seriously. not the dark horse, it's just the overlooked one. Yeah. And Tony it's, Hawk 5 is the dead horse. Yeah, yeah the it's dead the dead horse. horse. <laughs> yeah. And they've Severely beaten the beaten. hell out of it. Yeah. 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 Keep kicking that fucking horse. Well, they lost the franchise now. It's 2016. Yeah. Yeah. If, if there's ever another Tony Hawk game, you know you, you know what I'm hoping for another Johnny Mosley game. You know what? Oh, that would be the You best. know what we can't hope for anymore? A new Dave Mira game. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Rest in peace, the man, the myth, the legend, the Miracle Boy, Dave Mira. Yeah. Dave Mira. Was Dave the Mira's shit. Pro BMX3 Hologram Edition. Though. You know what they should do? They should do what they did in uh, in the Def Jam games. Where, I, I remember in Def Jam Icon, you could unlock the ghost of Biggie and the ghost of Tupac. And they were literally unbeatable. Like, if you played as Biggie or Tupac, you were a ghost. They couldn't punch or kick you. At all. But you could beat the fuck out of your opponents. So, But did like, they have you... the ghost of ODB and the ghost of Big L? See, like, what if what if you were playing a game where it was like a BMX game and then, like, the ghost of Dave Mira? Got to be a playable character. See, I that think, would be so cool. See, you I could think, do a bunch of ghost tricks. But what about the conspiracy theory that Matt Hoffman and Jamie Bestwick took out Dave Mira? It was a hit. Is that a thing? Is, I've never heard that before. I, I'm completely making that up. So I okay. should okay. hope so. We could make it a thing. Yeah. Yeah, we should. The Insetic Cannon gets a new chapter. Oh, it's not even the Insetic Cannon. That's just real life, man. Yeah, yeah, no. Oh, real yeah. life, real life Cannon. We haven't yeah. had Matt enough Hoffman sports and sabotage Matt in a while. Hoffman. The world's been he done did it. from those Tonya Harding days. Tonya Harding, Ski Matt, Rex, you Matt know. Matt Hoffman yeah. did 9/11. Yep. Oh, okay. There's, Fact. There's conclusive proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave Mira knew the truth. Conclusive. He's gonna <laughs> show the world. That's why they took him down. <laughs> proof such as. <laughs> It was because he was of what he knew. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> why do you think he's not around anymore? That's why. They're just trying to cover up the evidence. <laughs> but that was swag. But all joking aside, man, you know, we, you know, we we lost someone who yeah, yeah really I know, pioneered. I saw Dave the sport. Mira back at uh, Gravity Games. There was an actual Gravity Games in Cleveland when I was a kid. And I went and saw him and Ryan Nyquist, and I didn't meet Dave Mira, but I did meet Ryan Nyquist. Yeah. And I also bought uh, the Haro F540 Mira uh, BMX bike when I was like 12 years old. And I still have that bike, like it's held together for fucking 14 years. It was built to fall, it was built to fall off fucking vert ramps, man. Hell yeah. Yeah. But anyway, all right, enough about Dave Mira. I just had to get that out of here. Yeah. I mean, we didn't really do anything. Um, yeah, I, mean, I, I was going to We're not really a serious sh yeah, I mean, In my opinion, I, I played his game, but I don't have a connection to the scene. See, really I, see I've been able to provide some pretty good insight to you guys about, like, Dave Mira and, like, Rick McCrank and what he was really up to, man. 
Oh, we here. all we all know what Rick McCrank was. Yeah, doing that's yeah. well and known. Not the conspiracy yeah, I mean, theory. you just have to. You just, whoa! I've heard that Rick. McCrank I'm surprised was. the game didn't stutter from that. Yeah, um, wow! What is Rick McCrank? You know, to know what Rick McCrank is doing, all you have to do is search your feelings. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard Rick McCrank is actually going to show up as a character in Captain America: Civil War. Oh, He's really? Alive yeah. and Fully CGI. Us all. Yeah. No, not fully CGI. No CGI. He did he's all his kick own stuff. He doesn't even CGI. have a superhero name. He's just Rick McCrank. Right. They're redoing. <laughs> they're redoing the plot of McCrank. Civil War, but instead, it's instead of Captain America versus Iron Man, it's Captain America versus Iron Man, and Rick McCrank is kicking both their asses. Yeah. Oh yeah. Whose side is he on? His side. Skier it's not about. You better hope background. you're on his side, because he ain't on yours. All right. Well, uh, that's all for this video. Oh, we got, all right. We got about halfway up to the next. Uh, thing. Man, I keep like way overestimating how long these are going to be. Like, I record 20 minutes of footage, and once I've cut the load times out and the retries, it's always gone down like to 10 minutes. Yeah, and I damn. feel like, damn, that could have been much longer. You should have just included the load times then. <laughs> I'll that start doing better. that again. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's what everyone wants. Yeah. Maybe even extend them. <laughs> just <laughs> slow, like, slow them down. Slow them down slow just a little. Slow motion. Yeah. Slow yeah. motion recap. Yeah. Uh, well, that was this part. Hey, you know, we were pro. We were getting paid. We were yep. getting real paid. That's what you wanted all along, right? Mm-hmm. No. Sure. Uh, Longboarding for pay. Now that we have it, you don't like it anymore. I don't like it. You, now you're against the system. I'm against I it. it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Alright, I hate it. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time.